The healing properties of music and sound are no secret. Sound healing has played a prominent role in many ancient cultures for hundreds of years. Now, a couple of sound therapists in our region are sharing the technique with Maritimers who are looking for a new approach to healing. We get all the fine-tuned details in tonight's house call. There's rarely a quiet moment in Rita and Phil Crosby's home. They're both trained sound therapists, offering their services in Shelburne, Nova Scotia since relocating from England in 2008. Rita says sound healing is less about what you hear and more about what you feel. It's more about the frequency because we're not a solid being because we are a vibrational frequency, which quantum physics actually can prove now with the science that we have then what the sound therapy does, what the frequency does, is actually help your body heal itself. On a very simple level, it will help your autoimmune system kick in. So it detoxes your body and it starts to repair cells and bring new growth and start to restore balance and harmony. The pair work intuitively through an hour-long session using gongs, song bowls, tuning forks and drums to generate different sounds and frequencies. They say because each person is a unique vibrational being, the immediate effects vary. Some people feel enormously energized, some people feel very emotional. Um, there's a whole host of things. People experience it different in their body as well. Some people feel it quite profoundly, like electrical charges or like tingling, or some people see things and other people fall asleep. The frequencies used in sound healing bring the brain waves down to the theta state, similar to a deep sleep, making it highly effective in dealing with stress. Stress is such a huge killer because it does so much damage to the body on a very deep level. Um, but people are very cognizant of that. Often what's going on inside people they're not really aware of until some terrible symptoms start to materialize. So a lot of people we see are very stressed out. So they come primarily um, for relaxation. While stress is the most common complaint that brings people to Rita and Phil, they also treat many clients with terminal illnesses, mental health issues, and addictions who are looking to restore balance to their body and mind. Mary Howe has always believed in the healing powers of music. She had never felt the benefits so profoundly before. I'd not personally experienced music to that intensity where it gets down to the very innards of the cells of your body. Howe didn't have a particular health concern or reason for trying sound healing, but would highly recommend it to anyone looking to de-stress. It's like lying on the edge of the beach when the waves just sort of come over you. You're not in the water, but the water affects you. And it's just a very organic, wonderful feeling. The origins of sound therapy are in fact both ancient and organic. Many people do their own sound healing without even realizing it. People nurse a baby or with a child that's upset, they'll sing a song. You know, that's been always in everybody's culture across the planet. Um, and when people hum or when they sing to themselves, they're actually giving themselves some sound therapy as well. Rita stresses she and her husband are not medically qualified to diagnose, but they will discuss any issues sensed from a client's energy after the session. As for skeptics, they're always welcome. They're really people that we love to work with because they're the ones that are usually at the end are totally blown away and, and really just, you know, they're so stunned. A sound approach to keep your mind and ears open. That's fascinating. Eh? I want to try that. <laughs> she said that three times. I did. That I really want to try that. <laughs> it looks fascinating. It does, I'd yeah. love to check that out. Rita and Phil are holding a group workshop in Halifax next month. For more information on the event and sound healing, visit the hot link section of our website, atlantic.ctvnews.ca. I feel less stress having just watched that story. Do you? Yes. You need to go lay down the for a while? The colors, the sounds. <laughs> yeah, can you handle the rest yeah, of the I'll show? Yeah, I'll just do the rest of the show. I'm out of here. Tomorrow I'll be in a cot <laughs> in the back. Uh, coming up next, do you have...